this video, I'm going to show you how to create an assignment in Nopal where it converts the file to a Google Doc for easier grading. So in the Assignments tab, we're going to choose Add and then Assignment. I'm going to name this one Paper 2, and I'm going to choose the category of Assignments. My visibility will be the whole course, and I'm going to make this worth 25 points. If you want more information on category points and grade display, please see the videos that I made on the Grades tab in Notebook. Here in the description, because I know I want to convert this to a Google Doc, I'm going to make sure I tell my students that they need to upload a Word document. That's essential or it will not convert to a Google Doc. Once I have that description in there, I can click Attach Files if I want to add an assignment sheet for my students to take a look at. Available date is the day the students see this, and the due date is obviously the day it's due. Under Submission Type, you'll choose File Submission, and that will give you additional options here. It's essential to check the Convert Submissions to Google Docs if you want to use that function, and then also you should, type, or you should check Allow Only Certain File Types, and then enter DOC and DOCX there, so that students will have to upload Word documents. Something else I like to check is allow late submissions because then if students submit something even 10 seconds past the due date, they can still submit it. You will always see the timestamp for when they submitted a document. I'm going to choose create. And if you watch the last video I made, you'll see that this assignment so far looks exactly like any regular submission assignment. That's because you don't have to do anything extra other than check the box when you want Noble to convert it to a Google Doc. Something else to notice is if you click that more and view as, if you view as a student, you'll see that it looks exactly the same for them as well. So they're not actually doing this in Google Docs. Nopal is doing that conversion on its end. Students are just uploading those DOC or DOCX files. So I just had two students submit their files for me. So now when I scroll down, I can see the files, I can see their submission date, and the status. Something to know is this still looks exactly like a regular submission. The difference is going to be in how Notebook converts it. So what I'm going to do is choose the magnifying glass to preview submission. And we'll see as it loads that it's going to check my credentials. Now it's important to point out that it is checking your Denison credentials. So you want to make sure that in your browser, you're only logged into your Denison account. If it's crossing over to a regular Gmail, it's not going to give you permission to view this. So in that case, you might want to open an incognito window in Google Chrome so that you can access this using only your Denison account. So now that I'm in here with the convert to Google Docs option, I can do some additional things in my Notebook view that I wouldn't normally be able to do. One of those is if I click more here, I can see those additional Google Doc options and I can add a comment. I could put yes, always make sure you post your comment. If this is a scrunched up view, you can zoom out a bit and you can see a little bit more. Uh, if you're on a bigger monitor, you'll actually see the more in those three dots. Another trick, if you will, is you can even view this in your Google Docs area if you're more comfortable in there. It would be in there as a shared item from Notebook. So just go into your Google Drive and you could view it right in there and make comments there if you're more comfortable with that. But you don't have to, you can just do it in here. You could even make other changes. It's very similar to the track changes view because it's actually in what Google calls the edit mode. So, so it will let you go ahead and make all kinds of comments on that. So right now my students cannot see this. They cannot see any of my feedback. Um, students will not see it in their Google Drive because Notebook won't share it back to them until you publish the grades for this assignment. So once you're finished, you can just go ahead and put any general feedback here. 
You do not need to download any files, do the track changes, upload anything else. It's all being done right there in the Google document. And then you can give your student their grade and simply go to the next student by clicking the next button. So it's going to check one more time for those Google credentials and you can do the same thing as before with your commenting, giving the student a grade. And when you're done, click the X. So right there we have the grades and when I'm finished, I can go ahead and publish the grades. So the students will be able to not only see my general comments that I put in the feedback, but they will also now be able to view that Google Doc where I made all of my internal comments and all of my edits. Thank you.